uh, Honorable Minister for that presentation. I just want to go straight to my question. And the question is, is the Nera being devalued? If the Nera is not devalued, now you've asked investors to source for forex in alternative source, not to see there. Now, don't you think if investors will source their forex for alternative source, it's going to put pressure on the Naira and it continue to slide downward? That is one. And it will enable people that have stuck up foreign currency in their house to do foreign, I mean, to do money laundering, which is very important because if people have gotten ill got, uh, got ill gotten money and stuck up foreign currency in their homes, and that remain the main source of which investors will get their money to invest, it will it will it will definitely encourage money laundering. That is one question. The second one is this. Uh, it is the deliberate uh, action of government to borrow from domestic banks or financial institutions, domestic financial institutions. Now, you agree with me, most of the investors today, especially small agro island industries who want to invest, when they go to the commercial bank, the major problem they have is the high rate of interest which they get. And the loans are short-term loans. Most long-term loans we don't have long-term loans today in Nigeria. And the problem they will tell you is lack of funds, of long-term loanable funds. Now, if the government continues to encourage domestic borrowing, it will be at the detriment of investors. Because most financial institutions will prefer to loan to government than to loan to private investors because the risk there is very minimal. So I think deliberate action must be taken so that you move from government borrowing domestically and encourage private investors to borrow money domestically at a very lower rate because as we speak today, the MPMR is 12%. Will you say at that rate that investors will really break even if they want to really produce in Nigeria? Thank you.